Hey guys, what's happening? So, I had this speaker for a couple of years. It's pretty cool. It's the one with the uh, faux diff and it has like the uh, subwoofer in the back. It's pretty loud, it's pretty nice, but it just stops charging all of a sudden. So take a look at that. So if you look at that, hold my phone will flip around. It says 10% battery and my USB charger will no longer charge this thing. So normally there would be a light right there, like an LED and nothing, no charging. So, I guess I gotta take it apart and troubleshoot it and figure it out. So, yeah, because I don't want to just throw the speaker away. It's pretty nice. But, it's a micro USB. But it looks like the only way to open this up is to take the screws off the front. Because it looks like it's sealed. It's still on. There's actually scrolls down there. Alright, so I got this separated. This ribbon cable came out. That's the charging port in the back. And the subwoofer. I guess it's not actually a subwoofer. It's just like a... Like a reflex device. So it's kind of like a... I don't know if it's like a faux subwoofer? <laughs> That's weird. It makes you think it's a subwoofer. But, uh... I don't know if that's... That was a subwoofer, man. That's a total cheat. Scam. Alright, so I'm assuming that's a lithium battery. See here. Okay, so it's just a single cell battery, looks like. 5200 milliamp hour. Um, I'm going to pull that out. And I do actually have a charger, so I'm going to charge it manually with my charger if I have the right port. That's the Bluetooth module right there. Alright, it's making me think that it's an 18650 cell. Those are 18650s. You typically find like a laptop. And then you can see like the little the lip right there. Kind of matches that. It's about the same width too. Two stacked together side by side. So I'm going to throw a charge on this thing with my adapter here. Or my uh, charger. And uh, take a closer look at it. Alright. Alright, so... I'm going to put this in my multimeter if you can see it. 3.2 volt. So it makes me think that this thing is actually wired in parallel. So if, if this was actually wired in a series, it would be probably more like about 6 or 7 volts. Alright, so I'm going to charge this as a single cell and uh, come back. Right, so I'm hooked to my little leads right there. Come up to my high tech software. And I'm going to do lithium ion, charge, single cell. Because if it's two cells, Maybe double the voltage. Half an amp. All right, so I decided to go back down from half an amp to 200 milliamp just because I don't know these cells and I want to overheat them. All right, so like any of the micro USBs, usually the micro USB connector. So I'm gonna run my multimeter leads and see if I can figure out if I'm getting any voltage past this connector. So when I hit that, now I'm getting the right kind of voltage across there. All right, so I didn't actually even solder it. Basically, I just used my pliers and I crushed the USB connector back down. And I think it must have fallen down and opened itself up, so it was preventing this thing from getting good contact. Then I put a little deoxid on there. We'll put it back together. Uh, I'm going to finish charging the battery manually. And then we'll see if the uh, charge port works now. Alright, let's take a look. Got to plug back in again. And I'm going to hit the power button down there. Obviously we had, if we didn't have a good power connection, this thing wouldn't turn on because there's no battery in there. Alright, and the light's on now, so... Alright, so we'll get the battery back on and uh, see how this thing works. Battery's on charging, and it pulled uh, 2,597 milliamp hours. Okay. LED's back on. Your hey, we're back in business. 80% charging. So I think most people just throw their stuff away way too fast without even bothering to look at it. But if it's micro USB. And it's charging related. It's usually either the cable 
for the connector. So sometimes you just need a cable, sometimes you can just squeeze the connector, take it apart and crimp it. But cool, now I got my speaker back for the summer. Awesome.